Hey guys, this is our study and welcome to Comic Space. And today, a major update breaking up as Marvel Studios has quietly cancelled some of the major upcoming films and Marvel Studios' future landscape has been changed. And that's all we're going to talk about today and how that landscape is going to look like moving forward in major update. So, we are going to break it down step by step. But before we dive into today's update, we have to go few days earlier to an article by The Hollywood Reporter. And we have to talk about it that first before we get into today's update because both of the updates are correlated. So few days earlier, Hollywood Reporter had Bob Iger on it, obviously the CEO of Disney, where he stated this. You have to kill things that you no longer believe in. And it is a very hard thing to do in this business because you either got the process started or you have some sunk cost or it can be the relationship of you and your employees and with the creative community. Iger said, it's not an easy thing to do, but you gotta make tough calls. We have made some tough calls. We haven't been public about it, but we have killed some projects that we didn't feel they were strong enough. So just right after when this article went on, there was a lot of chatter of what exactly they are doing, what projects that they cancel. And there was a lot of things going on and in the rumor mill as well. So, but today we have a major update coming from a major industry insider, Daniel RPK. And again, if you have been following our channel or have been part of the rumor mill, you know that we like to give him a lot more reverence than any other industry insider. Also, he have a quite impeccable track record as well. So today, where he stated, Marvel is cutting costs and that means Eternal 2 that was in the process is not now on the hold as Kevin Feige wanted the sequel but Bob Iger think that it is not strong enough. In addition to that, he stated, no Ant-Man 4. Or Captain Marvel 3 as they are trying to focus on more stronger franchises and take less risk. So this is a quite major update and these are all the projects that we only know of. So I'm pretty sure there probably had been a lot of other projects as well which they have probably started on but they again, but again they just didn't made it far. And all of these three projects that we know of are the very major films. Are big projects and I think biggest of them all has to be Captain Marvel 3. Uh, in terms of the scale, in terms of the cost. And I think for me, the shocker comes with the Eternals 2. Marvel has to give us some sort of a payoff and to finish that storyline that they have started with the Eternals. So it was a pretty short and kind of an Eternals 1 and Eternals 2. It's some sort of a two-parter because it's an one storyline branch out into two films. And I'm pretty sure they have to give us some sort of a payoff to that storyline. And I'm pretty sure they're just not gonna left the Eternals just right there. And again, I think another major thing on top of that is the first Eternal films was very, very disconnected from the primary storyline or from the MCU because I think it was its very own thing. And it really didn't have any necessary tie to any of the main storylines that we are talking about or even the Secret Wars thing. It was, it was totally its own thing. So I think it did kind of play in role in that if it was that important to the storyline that we have going on. So I don't think so it would have gotten that. But again, it doesn't necessarily mean that Marvel is just closing the book on the Eternals 2. Because again, today and today we have another update which is coming from my time to shine. Hello, if you have been part of the channel, part of the rumor mill, it is one of the most trusted industry insider. So where he stated. Eternals 2 is not cancelled, but it has been transformed into an another project. So I really don't know what exactly that means. Does it actually mean that they are going to be part of in some totally different project? Or they just have the change the format and we can be seeing in special or Disney Plus series or something like that. So again, I think we have kind of tackled this topic about Marvel Studios going into cancellation mode. And a lot of things been on the chopping block. We haven't really focus on the topic but we have talked about it so all of the projects that marvel studios have officially announced are 100 percent coming and the projects on which that they have started the production like the wonder man series because a lot of people are also uncertain regarding wonder man because they haven't officially announced it but again it is also coming uh one of my major concern was that vision quest was still coming on and the silver surfer project that we have been talking about on the channel for a while so a lot of projects like that they have started the working on and given and again it also depends how much you need those projects to serve your storyline and the continuity because obviously you can't left white widget 
just wandering off somewhere and just not having any sort of payoff to that character as well as and again if you're talking about silver surfer and projects like that obviously you have to tackle again it just makes a lot of sense to continue the projects and i mean it has been a quite evident that as bob Iger has came up he have made some serious changes particularly in marvel studios i mean i think they have made a lot of changes from to output cuts to cost cut and to everything and given how much uncertainty there is now regarding the marvel studios upcoming slate and the future projects i am really hoping that we get some sort of an official news at CinemaCon, comic con or d23 and a new updated release schedule for phase 5 and phase 6 for sure uh, because we still don't know when and which projects are gonna come at what time and i'm pretty sure that next year we are also not gonna get like four films one of the film is 100 percent is going to be get delayed till 26 and it is probably gonna be blade because it is coming at the end of 25 and again if you're talking about blade that film just has been so much changes and so many scripts and they were just about to start the filming but they again had to go back to square one and again talking about the future landscape next year i mean i think it will be time to wrap up the phase 5 and we will head into the phase 6 which will include both of the avengers films which i am also pretty sure that the both of them are going to get delayed and i would be happy that i am wrong and we will get to see those films sooner rather than later but again given all of the stuff happening i think more delays are going to come out our ways so a lot of interesting things are happening all over the place all around us i think it is time for me to see you guys off well that's it for this video guys but before you go you can consider to grab the subscribe button so don't miss out on any of the latest marvel or dc update i'm so glad that you guys got the time to hear me out thanks for listening to me this is your host adi signing off see you in the next one